Good evening, good evening, good evening, everybody. This is Pastor Jay, and like always, we're going to start off in normal fashion. And normal fashion is this. We're going to be coming out of Psalm 65 and 3, and it says, When we were overwhelmed by sin, you forgave our transgressions. Jesus forgives you in the midst of your brokenness. You don't have to be already made over. He meets you right where you are. He makes sure that no matter how far you think you've gone, that he's not going to make you feel like you can't come back to him. So anybody that's out there that felt like they, they've, they've strayed away, that they were so hurt that they just ran so far from God they can't hear him, just know that God is like the prodigal father's son, of the prodigal son's father, where he's waiting for you to come back home. Amen. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father God, we just ask you right now in the mighty name of Jesus, be with us today with this show. Rebuke every technical difficulty that we've been experiencing, God, right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Let you enter into the room. Let you be able to be in the conversation. Let you be able to be the steerer of this, God. God, let this be able to reach the masses, be able to reach the broad, broadcasting waves of, of different countries and different networks and, and all the good connections that you want us to be part of. Enlarge our territory, Lord. God, let's be able to reach the unreachable, teach the unteachable, and even touch somebody even with the hardest heart to be able to know more about you so they can say, what can I do to be saved? God, we just ask you to just be able to bless every listener from the top of their head to the soles of their feet, that they could be able to know you, they could be able to have a relationship with you, that they could be able to have a breakthrough in the confirmation that they're looking for. So God, we thank you. We glorify you. We give you all the glory and all the praise. We said it all in Jesus' precious name. Amen. 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 This is Pastor Jay. Like always, I got something to say. You can follow me at Anointed Jaylon on all social media platforms. Um, and um, you know, that's Facebook, Clubhouse, um, Twitter, Instagrams. Um, I've been doing a new series, um, being at work late night. I have been doing some new series on my Instagram. Go check it out. It's singing gospel music late night and my moment of thought, things I just think about late in the midnight hour, stuff I might have read, things I might have just experienced. Go check it out at Anointed Jaylon on Instagram. Um, if you want to see any of my music, Jesus, you make me happy. My team reps, Jesus, renew my praise, slip away and wake up blessed. Go see that on all music streaming platforms, every place that has music on it. I am there. So with that being said, make, before I bring up all of my peoples, my peeps, I want you to make sure you go and share this, this live right now. Share, like, subscribe, all my YouTube people, make sure you subscribe, like, all my Facebook people, make sure that you like, hit that like button so that every time that we go live, you can know when we go live, know what we're doing and all these great things. So make sure you share, like, subscribe, and download the Anointed Radio app for 24-hour gospel music, all of your gospel needs uninterrupted. And want you to know this right now, you are somebody. So despite what you've been told all your life, you are have a purpose you are beautifully and wonderfully made and that you can do some great things in jesus name amen with that being said we're gonna go ahead and bring we got oh so before in absence we have an absence miss miss Brittany, miss Brittany marley she's an absence she's doing mother duty we pray all is well um but make sure you go follow her at Brit, uh britney marley on social media another person is everybody's favorite auntie dr marvinetta clay las vegas las vegas is auntie singing she be singing she the love child of of marvin gay and Etta james come together she got worship forever ep so make sure you go check out her music on all streaming platforms the worship forever ep i fly away i thank god all those good tracks make sure you go follow her and all that good jazz make sure you go follow a, another person chiquita andrews where she was 
has a book out there called Train to Be Broken but Came Unbroken. And she's been doing a lot of campaigns against domestic violence and all, all of the things that people might go through. So definitely go check her out, educated.andrews on all social media platforms. With that being said, we're going to go ahead and bring on the guests that we have, the hosts that we have on staff today in the live, bringing a personality and all that good jazz. We got Ben Zellius, we have Prophetess Tish, and we have Boss Hart coming from somebody island. I need to be where she at. Hey, man, y'all go ahead and go do y'all intro. Yes, sir, man. It's uh, Ben Zell underscore Washington 1993, repping for all the 90s babies. Uh, follow me on all social media platforms, uh, YouTube at uh, the Johnson family. That's Johnson's J O H N S U N S. Uh, also follow follow me. Also my wife and I mean we do a podcast um, called Kiss Kid, Kiss the Kids Good Night podcast. Uh, we're on uh, YouTube, Facebook. Uh, you can follow. We have an Instagram page. So follow us there. Uh, but yeah, man. Amen. Prophetess. I am Prophetess Tish. You can catch me on Instagram at fervently.creations. You can also check out my website, ferventlycreations.com, uh, as well as you can check me on Facebook, Tish Year Clubhouse. I am in Clubhouse on Saturdays at 10 a.m. And that is Prophetess Tish. You'll find me as Prophetess Tish. Uh, and so look forward to connecting with each and every last one of y'all. Be blessed. Amen. We got Miss Boss Barbie coming from the pool side of Las Vegas Strip somewhere. Somebody's casino. Nah, nah. This Barbie's Island over here. This is Barbie's Island. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Long time no see, you know. Um, it's been great out here. I, as you can see, you know, this is where I spend a lot of my time lately. But I'm be on them updates and stuff. So make sure y'all follow me on Instagram at Barbie underscore underscore world and on Twitter at boss underscore underscore Barbie. Uh, it's been a lot of stuff going on out here. I can't wait to get to my segment so I can tell y'all about it. Also, make sure y'all following me, uh, my business page, check that rock. Um, we continue to raise awareness, prevention to bullying, suicide and mental health. Um, it's Mental Health Awareness Month every month. And if you didn't know, nine, um, 988 is now the new suicide hotline. So make sure y'all know that. Amen. That's some good information. Anybody that's dealing with it, if you did not know, definitely go to our podcast um, platform and check out all of the mental awareness episodes that we dedicated to um, mental health awareness because there's a lot of things that people need to to be able to think about and to have help in and and people need help a lot of times people are suffering in silence so with that being said make sure you check on somebody you might be the person that saves that person amen so with that being said we're going to bring on our guests and like I said, share, like, subscribe. Make sure y'all put some lark, some hearts, some likes, some all that good stuff. All these different platforms. We have Miss Marvette, the artist. Everybody, Marvette, the artist. And I believe she's from Duval County. Duval. Another Duval. Another Duval. Back to back weekends of Duval. Back to back Duvals. <laughs> like it. We love it. That's where it's at, baby. It's where it's at. See, I, I knew all the Duval people would get excited for that when they heard that. <laughs> Amen. So where can everybody find you? What's your Instagram? What's, what's your Facebook pages? What's your website? What's all that good jazz that the audience could go follow you at? So to those who don't know me, I am Marvin the Artist, your favorite cousin. Not mine, but yours. Listen. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram, Marvin the Artist 22. You can follow me on Facebook, Marvin O'Neill, or you can go to my artist page, which is Simon's. I'm sorry, Simon's MTA is my Facebook page. My um uh, artist page is Marvin the Artist. I have a Twitter, don't I just started it, don't know the name of that. Yeah, got a TikTok, don't remember that either, but look for me and I'm on there. <laughs> and that's how simple that is. Y'all go follow her. Make sure y'all go and get her follows up and um, check out. She got music out there, too. So make sure you go and support, yes. go like, and do all of that 
good jazz. And again, if you have not did, let's go ahead and pay some bills in here and go and make sure you download the Anointed Radio app on Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. You can listen to gospel 24 hours all day, every day, in the car, at work, in the plane, all day. I was trying to Dr. Seuss it, but I messed up. But I want you to know. <laughs> That you can listen to gospel 24-7, no matter where you at, uninterrupted. And if you didn't know, in 2024, which is coming up soon, I used to say this and it, it sounds so far away, but it's coming up soon. Cars will no longer manufacture uh, antenna radio. So guess what? If you got the car play and the Apple play, you can listen to Anointed Radio right now in your car, connected, uninterrupted. So with that being said... And when you be driving cross country and stuff, you ain't got to worry about changing the signal. Uh, we like sirs, but we better. Amen. I like, I like, I like to put that little plug in. So with that being <laughs> said, we're gonna go ahead and go into Boss Barbie's favorite segment. This is when she gets the most hype. It's like she's about to get on the field. And now we're calling out Boss Barbies. I, oh, that's a that's interesting. I'm, I think I'm come up. So we're gonna go ahead and go into the Boss Barbie segment. Um. And she's going to talk about all Las Vegas sports. With that being said, I introduce y'all, Miss Boss Barbie. Hey, what's up, everybody? Yeah, it's um 104 degrees out here already. So I hope y'all staying cool somewhere. Um, Maybe watching some WNBA basketball because they definitely playing today. Um, Speaking of WNBA, though, your Las Vegas Aces, man. They on the revenge tour right now. So people was talking a little bit before all-star break because, you know, we was losing, you know, we letting teams come all the way back. We blowing 29 point leads, you know, all types of stuff. You know, we was just a little gas and man, they got that much needed rest. And now they, they've beaten the New York Liberty, which is a team that they've lost to at home. Um, and that was, you know, the, the whole record comeback. Yeah, that one. Uh, but man, they put it on the Liberty this past week, man. They dropped 71 points, which is a WNBA record. And, uh, yeah, they did that in one half. Still ended up only scoring like 108 or something for the rest of the game. They chilled out a little bit because, you know, they didn't want to make it look too bad, but. I mean, the Liberty only ended up scoring like 74 points the whole game. So that just lets you know what type of night the Aces was having. And, uh, yeah, they continue to be on that same tear. They beat the Liberty in a much closer game. Uh, it was 101 to 108. But, hey, they still got the dub. And we play the Suns coming up to tomorrow. We ready for them. We ready for them. Because right before we play, right after we play the Suns and get this win on the road, we at home all next week. So make sure y'all come out. It's games Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. It's going to be some top picks uh, in the draft uh, plan with their teams, the Dream, the Fever. And uh, we get that that revenge win back from the Mystics, too. They got to come back and see us. Um, but yeah, man, you know, it's it's been great for the WNBA. And uh, if you didn't know, Kelsey Plum won the All-Star MVP last week. You know, her first All-Star game appearance, and she killed it, dropped 30, and uh, tied the most points ever scored in somebody's All-Star game. So, yeah, she did that tied with Maya Moore, and everybody know how goaded Maya Moore is. So, um, moving on to the Raiders, because they also are out here making me very, very proud to be a part of Raiders Nation and anything that Mark Davis owns at this point. That's my guy. You know, I talk to him every game, you know, and uh, he just hired the first black president in the NFL, like Sandra Douglas Morgan. She she's literally groundbreaking right now like she's she's taking over she's making power moves i think with this move right here mark davis now has two black women running at the top of the offices in both of his organizations that he owns in las vegas so that just says a lot about him that says a lot about the women that he's hiring and it's saying a lot about how this world is changing and more doors are opening for people that look like me and 
everybody that's probably watching out here, you know? So I'm very proud to be a part of Raiders Nation. And uh, I can't wait till we see some games this year, man. Like, I'm excited for this season. We done made a lot of offseason big moves. And it's just going to keep getting better, especially when we win it. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, the Las Vegas Aviators, yo, They've been balling. They got some people. They just won a six-game homestand uh, against the Salt Lake Bees. They got three people that just got called up by the Oakland A's, but they're soon to be the Las Vegas A's. They got three people that just got called up. You, you know, they got some injuries and stuff, but they got people that's been balling too. Uh, shout out to our catcher, Shay Langliers. My man's like making the catcher position look like the most important position. He didn't got selected to the all-star game for the for the aviators, man. Like that's crazy. Like they they really just been out here balling. If you haven't been to a game, y'all need to check out a game because they, they literally know how to put on the show. They got some swingers in there. They they be putting up some numbers. It's it's it baseball is not boring if you're going to watch the aviators because I'm telling y'all, they gonna put up some they gonna put up some highlights for y'all. Seriously. So make sure y'all check out the aviators. They always got the fireworks and stuff too. Family night, dog night, all types of stuff for the family. So make sure y'all go check them out. But guess who I'm trying to go check out tomorrow? The Las Vegas Lights. Yeah, they play them at 430. They take on RGK, and I'm, I don't even know who RGK is, but them some cold initials, and I'm trying to go see what they all about. They just lost to the, the lights just lost to Detroit. They just came off the road, but I mean, I got faith that they about to come in and and, and get into this playoff discussion. They sitting at 500 right now with a seven and seven record, so. I'm looking forward to seeing them turn it around. They got still a, a lot more season left to make some noise in the playoffs, man. And, you know, shout out to everybody, you know, that's uh, all the Las Vegas sports. You know, we got the Rebels. We got the Knights. We got the Desert Dogs, the lacrosse team. like, And we got some new teams getting ready to come to Las Vegas new team as in NBA because y'all know the summer league been here and uh, a little birdie told me but no I, I seriously found out that the Los Angeles Lakers will be hosting two preseason games here in October so at the T-Mobile Arena so make sure y'all check those tickets out and stuff too because I know y'all trying to see LeBron I know y'all want to see LeBron. I know y'all want to see if Kyrie get here. I know y'all want to see if KD get here. Like, I know y'all trying to see what's happening, you know? So make sure y'all go check them tickets. That cheap right now. I think I've seen some for like as low as $65. So, hey, it's basketball out here. The summer league still here. We got one more day of the summer league out here. And tomorrow, it's actually summer league playoffs right now. So the championship will be tomorrow. So make sure y'all checking out Summer League while it's still here, seeing some of your favorite athletes that got drafted this year, seeing your brother, cousin, somebody that's shooting his shot to make it to a roster, you know, like, go make sure y'all supporting though. But Las Vegas, the new world mecca of sports, we out here and I'm covered. I'm on everything. I'm on everything. Yeah. <laughs> A Amen. And shout out to all of our, our sports partners um, to answer back to what she said about LeBron. Nobody care about LeBron because the champion <laughs> are the Warriors. Hey, wait, oh, he's about to be the owner. He's about to be the owner <sighs> of the next NBA team. You better care about LeBron. I do. <laughs> Steph Curry, shout outs to you, sir. A true champion out there. 2020, 2021, 2022 champion of the world. Amen. Lost so to LeBron. Mm -hmm. huh, not Go this ahead. year. Amen. So with that being said, <laughs> with that being said, that's our sports segment. Everybody, make sure y'all go support all Las Vegas sports. It is important. I remember when Anointed Radio started, my mission was to be able to promote sports here in Las Vegas. We only had one team. It was the Golden Knights. And then we ended up with the Lights. And then we got the Aviators which used to be a different name. I think it was the 51ers. 
And then um, we had the WNBA Aces. And now we have the Las Vegas Raiders. We have the Silver Knights. We have the Mad Dog Lacrosse team. And now soon we'll have an NBA team. And I just salute all the sport teams that came to Las Vegas that made us with a small town mentality turned into a big metropolitan with the growth of Las Vegas. So shout out to all of the teams and that they have partnered with us. Now we're going to go into. Oh, Ooh, we, that was loud. <laughs> so with that being said, we're going to, we're going to go into um, talking with Miss Marvette, the artist, and we're going to do a uh, icebreaker question. And then after we do iceberg question, we'll learn a little bit about her. We're going to show you a little, a little new structure. We're going to learn a little bit about her. And then we're going to take a little break. We're going to do a little bit of this and that hosted by Benzel on this show today. And uh, we're going to learn a little bit more about her. And then we, we're going to head out on out y'all with y'all. But I want y'all right now to understand this. Make sure you download the Anointed Radio app, share, like, and subscribe. And know this. Um so finish this statement, Miss Marvette. This is the Pastor J icebreaker question. Finish this statement. Pastor J saw a what? Dolphin. I saw a dolphin. Yep, show did. <laughs> I show did see a dolphin. dolphin. I show did see a dolphin. Y'all not understanding the the world I lived in. I felt like I was in like Sea World, but I was outside. You know how you be outside and you see Sea World like it was dope. It was a dope. they was together. They were swimming. Together. It was like this. I was I, yeah. I want y'all to understand how excited I was. The, the whole team boy just came out. Listen, just, I understand. <laughs> y'all understand? I felt like I was at Marine World or something. You know what I'm saying? I was I was outside seeing dolphins. I don't understand. Like, Boss Barbie, if you turned around and if it was a dolphin in that pool, what would you do? I'm about to go dive with it right now. Exactly. That's what I wanted to do with the shark. <laughs> but there's sharks out there, so I, I was I was spooked. But anyway, Miss Marvette, where are um, where are you originated from and where Here do you reside? Go. Here she go. So I am. I'm not gonna do the whole Duval. Duval. Wait, I am. I am born and raised in Jacksonville. Don't do it. Duval County. This is my city. I love. Yes, there it is. Duval. I'm trying not to, but this is anywhere we go. If you say where you're from, you're gonna hear that call. Uh, If you if there's a Duval in the house, you're gonna hear a Duval literally. But this is where I'm from, Jacksonville, Florida. I love my city. I, I go away every now and then to see the world, to experience other cities and states, but there's nothing, absolutely nothing like home, like home. I love it. I love my city. Amen. So with that being said, what got you into music? So fun, first and foremost, I come from a family of musicians, right? Um, keyboard players, drummers, singers. Um, I have my stepfather is a bass guitar player who traveled the world with Willie Neal Johnson, the Matty Clouds of Joy, and all those. Oh, uh, yeah. He's like Shirley Caesar. All them good wow. people. And so I've always sung, but I did not think about once I once I started having children, I got married at 19. That marriage didn't work, but I still had my three children. Once I had them and my focus on doing music, I wasn't thinking about it anymore. But one Sunday um, on the women's women's praise team, we sung a song by Leandra Johnson titled Jesus. And I was asked to lead that song. And God did what he, what he normally do. And uh, Miss Felicia in the mix um, has a record label. She walked up to me and said, hey, I'm starting a record label and I would love to sign you. And I was like, oh, okay. Didn't think nothing of it until she came to my house a week later with some paperwork. I was like, oh, you serious? <laughs> are you serious? It's serious it's when the paperwork serious. come out. So eight years ago, a couple of days ago, I was looking through my memories uh, on Facebook. You know how memories pop up on Facebook. And eight years ago, I became the leading lady of In The Mix Music Group. That was the name of it then. Now it's In The Mix Entertainment. And I'm not one of the artists but we're partners more so we work together and um 
you know, putting stuff together. So I'm excited. I love what God has, how he has transitioned. I first came out, I was just Marjette. And then God transitioned it to add the artist. And that's only because I'm more than just a singer. I, you know, I, I, I have my own um, catering business. I'm also a teacher. I'm a preacher. I'm, you know, I do all that. So it's more to me. So it's like the artist is just a, I'm, I'm compound with so much. So it's Marvet the artist. Cause when you get me, you get a whole lot. You don't just get the same thing. You call me at two o'clock in the morning, you're going to get the intercessor. You know what I mean? You call me at seven and say, Hey, I just want to break down the word. And then you got the teacher. You call me, say, I need you to come preach at a conference. Then you got the preacher. You say you need a word, then, then, then the prophets pull up at me. So whatever God called me to do and whatever setting, that's what I do. So I gave you just a little snippet of me. So I have a question. You, you say you get that prop. So the fact that this record deal came out in like it was just a, was that ever spoken over you even as a child? Or did you <sighs> did you have any indication from God that? This was this was the path that I want you to take. This is what I speak over your life. Yes, it was spoke over me a few times, right? But life happens. And mm -hmm. I was um got like I said, I got married at, at a young age, and that wasn't in the books for him, me doing music. That's not what he wanted. And because I was madly in love with the man and my obedience, and I, I'm very transparent, y'all. My obedience got cloudy with. Me doing what God wanted me to do, but I wanted to do what my what the man wanted me to do. So right. it so the music was uh, like I'm pushed that to the side. Then we started having children, and I was like, I'm not gonna be traveling with all these kids. Who for the travel with all these kids? Who for be feeding all these kids? Like I'm not even though it's just three in my mind. Like that's a lot of money that I did not have. So I'm, a, I'm like I'm a single mom. Who to do all that? I said, Well, God, maybe this is me. Maybe they want. Maybe that was them prophesying because they can. They love the way I sing, right? I don't want you, God. I just that was them people. And then this opportunity come, and I say, okay, God, I hear you. And it was at a time where my kids of of, of age, where they didn't need the babysitter, they understood my the assignment. Once I had a conversation with them, they was like, pop time, yes, mom. They were super excited about the what God was about to do, and so. Here we are now. There are adults with their own children, and God is still doing it with the music, and He just added on, you know, to this journey. Really, talk about like how how proud your kids are of you to see you go through everything you went through. You had them at a young age. You got married, like all of that, like, and they seen you overcome all of that and still be able to accomplish your dreams. Like, literally, it's showing them that it don't matter how old you are, don't matter what mistakes you may made in the past, like, God is always going to write you. Yes. And it's, we, like, me and my, the, my baby girl, we laugh, because they're, well, me and her go, they are y'all sisters? Because we, she literally looks just like me, and she act just like me, and sometimes that can be a little scary for me, anyway, because I ain't always been saved. Lord Jesus. I got a daughter so, too, I understand. <laughs> So um, we have conversations, and they seen a lot in my life. They saw um, I am a, a, a survivor of domestic violence, so they saw me go through that. They saw um, us. We went. We was homeless at one point. They saw me go through that. They saw me transition through a whole whole lot. And then I, I made it in my mind that no matter what I go through, that I wasn't going to stop because I know they're watching me. I know that they're watching my moves. They're watching how I carry myself. They're watching how when the storm comes, how do I react while we're in the storm? Because Amen. my main thing is I always said it. I've been saying it for a long time that no matter the storm going to come, but God watches how we respond to the storm. He watches our response. So if I respond the way he wants me to respond, we're going to come out the storm. We're coming out. We're coming out with grace. We're going to go through the fire, but we won't come out smelling like smoke. Why? Because we responded the way God wanted us to respond. Come on. Come on. So it's, it's a blessing to me when I see them, when they go with me as I minister in song and they out there and, and they're singing the songs with me. It's a blessing. I, I just hosted, well, I just preached, though. God gave me a women's conference called No More Broken Pieces Women's Conference. And so my daughters, of course, they was there. And it was, it done my heart good. And they said, Mom, you let God do, you did that, Mom. You let God, you, it, it, it was, it was, it done something for me because God, they see growth in me. You know what I mean? It's a blessing when your children can say, I, I remember when 
I remember when you didn't mind snapping and going off on people. Now <sighs> I'm watching how you're humbling yourself and you keeping your mouth closed. And before I respond with my flesh, I go and talk to my talk to Jesus about it. Like Jesus, I know you heard what they said, and you don't want me to respond the way I used to. So you got to get. <laughs> so it's, it's so I tell God, I, I'm I'm grateful to God that they're able that they are around. It's so many young people who have lost their life to so many to violence, drugs, and the streets. And I'm grateful to say that you know I have a son who is 23 playing semi pro football and has two beautiful children. And my oldest daughter who is who is working and being an amazing mom to her one year old son. My my baby girl who is she's really she's like my I call her my hip baby because she do everything with me music ministry she do even though she be trying to run from it she can't help it because babe i prayed so much and so and so much not pregnant with her because i didn't want to be pregnant the third time that she can't help it i said i'm surprised you didn't come out speaking a tongue as much as i prayed oh. but it's beautiful to see them they're watching me and i'm watching god transition in their life at the same time so it's beautiful now uh oh go ahead go ahead Bruce, Bobby. I was just saying that was an amazing testimony. Like, I mean, thank you for sharing that with us. I appreciate that. Yes, ma'am. Now, a uh, question for you um, in regards to uh, um, the trials and tribulations that you might, uh, uh, you know, has come your way. Uh, that is, could you speak to that? And then also uh, another part is, is that how did you get over uh, uh, those type of situations. Cause I know, you know, singing from a young age until going into now and then having your family, I'm pretty sure you experienced a lot of uh, uh, trials and tribulations. So speak to that about that. So I'm, I'm going to talk about this a couple, some about four years ago, right? I was, um, I was engaged to someone and I thought that that was it. He was the one I it, I'm done and something, you know, it didn't work. Uh, right in the middle of us planning our wedding and me about to order my wedding dress that next morning he said God said for me to be alone mm -hmm. and he left me high and dry literally uh, we were standing we was renting from his parents he left when he stayed with his mom turned the lights off like it was it was it was bad and I went into a real real dark place I went into a real dark place because I was like okay enough is enough I've given my heart I loved on people and I was like, I'm just, it, I was just done. I was done with everything. I was just done. And I cried out and I told God, I said, listen, if you don't come and wrap your arms around me tonight, I'm not going to make it. I had to be honest with myself. A lot of times we go through trials, we go through our, you know, our issues. We don't be honest with ourselves. We don't be honest that we're hurting. We try to cover, oh, I'm good, I'm good. But really you're not good. Your mental is not good. Your emotions, you're all over the place. And so I had to be honest with myself. I'm not good. I wasn't. I was angry. I was bitter. I still held unforgiveness with my with my kid's father. I was still angry with him. Didn't realize I was still mad with him. I literally had to deal with me and get everything. What all that I was dealing with. I'm, 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 a, I'm a survivor of being raped. I'm a survivor of being molested. And all that stuff was in me. And so I told God, if you don't do something for me tonight, I know it's, it's, I, I'm, I'm done. It's over with. And I went to church on that Sunday and I laid at the altar and I said, I am not getting up. People can say it's a cliche. Folks talk about it and think, it, think it's a game. But I literally said, I'm not getting up until you do something for me because I can't walk around here like this. I can't walk around here this angry. I can't walk around here sad and depressed. I can't do it. Like It's not beneficial for my health. I can't do it. And I told God, if you don't touch me, like, you got to do this. Like, can't no man do nothing for me at this point. Nobody. My mom can't do it. I don't care how much she tell me she loved me. It wasn't going to work. My kids loving on me, that wasn't enough. I needed a touch from God. And that Sunday, I literally, when I said I didn't get up until I felt, I literally felt God wrap his arms around me. I felt the peace. I felt his peace, and I and and it's still be. It's, I'm still. I'm going through a journey now, where of, of, of a transitioning, transitioning journey in my life right now. And in this season, I told God last time when I was going through a transition, I stopped. I stopped music. I didn't want to pray for people no more. I wasn't doing ministry. I was wiping my hands. This mm -hmm. time, I said I'm not gonna stop. And it goes back to how you respond. 
So in this storm, I'm responding with a worship. In this storm, I'm, resp I'm, I'm responding with, with getting in my word even the more. In this storm, I'm responding, being I, I changed my posture on my, I'm not just laying on my face, but I, I, I'm really giving God all I got. When I get done, I, I don't want to leave nothing left on the table. So when mm -hmm. I cry out to you, God, I'm giving you everything. I'm literally, I want to be so tired. I'm tired. I'm, I'm ready to go to sleep now because I don't literally. So my response, even with the negative talk that I hear people say, I'm not responding. No need to respond. I'm, my response now is, God bless you. I love you. Do you need me to pray for you this time? Do you, you do you need a prayer? I could, mm. I know one thing. If I don't know nothing else, and I ain't bragging on me, but I'm going to brag on me. God hit me. So if I go to the throne for you, I guarantee you, you it's gonna, whatever you need going to happen. Come on. I, I guarantee that because of my relationship with God and because of how I'm responding. So we in the midst of issues, and I know we say it's better, it's easy to say, right? Then, then it's easy to talk about, oh, you can get over it. You can do this. You can do that. But I'm telling you, if you start speaking life, if you speak life, then things will change. We mm -hmm. quit the, we we forget that we got power in this tongue of ours. Say and if that. we use what we have in our mouth the correct way, yeah. things in our life yeah. will be different. So if you speak yeah, life, same. even in a dark place, you say there's life. Even in yeah, a dark same. place, there's life. I yeah. may be, God, even in my frustration, God, I give you glory. Even in the midst of the pain, God, I'm healed. Begin to speak life and watch things really line up. Watch things change because it's all about, it's not about what you're going through. And I'm going to say it again. It's not about what you're going through. It's how you respond while you're going through. Come on. Come on. Mm. Mm. Pastor Dave, you say you, you say you wanted that energy, right? You say you wanted that energy. <laughs> I, I, I'm feeling that Duval energy over here. I need a <laughs> I'm playing the show. I'm saying it though, cause you better say it. You better Come say on. it. Duval. <laughs> <laughs> one one thing I want, I definitely want to I want to be able to ask you this question, yes. and it's it's been led on my spirit is, what did you learn from that experience? <laughs> the main thing I learned was to depend on God and not on people. Amen. I, I was, I am such a supporter. I'm going to support y'all. I'm going to support you. Tell I'm going to support it. If I can't beat it, I'm going to share your flyer. I'm going to get your song, whatever it is, because that's just who I am, right? And I used to get so down about not receiving the same energy. And God was like, it's not them that called you. It was me. I chose you, not them, right? So why you worrying about them and not them? Trust me. Depend on me. So what I learned is that only God only God can get me out of this situation. Only God can keep me while I'm going through the situation. Only God can give me the peace. Only God can give me true joy. Only God can give me true happiness. Only God. Can't nobody give it to me. If, if, if they add on to, they can add on. They can give me adjectives, but only God can give because I can rest. I'm, I don't have everything that I want. I don't have everything that I need, but I can rest. Why can I rest? Because I got joy in Jesus. Why can mm. I rest? Because I got peace in Jesus. That's why. Mm. So the thing I learned was to depend and trust on God and not man, because man literally will fail you. Man will tell you one thing and do something else. But God, the Almighty, he going to tell you and he going to do exactly what he said. He's consistent. He doesn't change. He doesn't move. We move, but he don't move. He don't go nowhere. We change our minds, but he don't never change. Never. So the fact that I, I learned that I can trust and depend on God because he's consistent and he loved me in spite of me being me, because Marvette is a mess, a, a hot mess. But he loved me in spite of. So I can, I, the person who can love me in spite of, I want to trust him with my whole heart. What? You know I got flaws and still love me? Yeah, I, I, yeah. I'm, I'm going to trust him. Because a man will see your flaw and run away. Yeah. Yes. People see the oh she don't mess up they'll they'll write you off. Mm -hmm. They'll you can be out and about and mess around and say a cuss word oh she ain't really say yes. church don't close they don't close the whole book on you she ain't, she ain't say oh oh learn a little bit about your past and say ain't no way she been delivered yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I, I tell everybody who talked to me I'm very transparent was I used to be a stripper yes I used to I, I tried to be a drug dealer but I felt bad for the crackhead so I didn't do do that long. Y'all, I'm so <laughs> you did. You did. You did. <laughs> I didn't stand that long, but I did some stuff 
that was, you know what I'm saying? I felt like I had to do to continue to take care of my kids. Mm -hmm. And some people, when they hear that, they love me so much until they hear my testimony and then they want to wipe their hands. And I mm. said, I'm glad that God doesn't do that. I'm so glad mm. that he know the ins and outs of me and he still, still love me. He still do, he still open doors. He still, he is still blowing my mind. So, I mean, I trust God. Don't that, get that's stuck on people. Love this show. That's exactly why I love this show. We have people from all over the place, all mm -hmm. types of backgrounds, then been through so much. And yep. we all got the same thing in common. God still loves us. He still loves us. Talk about right? it. Talk about and, it. And, and all those people in the church who think God love them more because they come on doing what they supposed to be doing, but they mm -hmm. judging everybody and shunning everybody. Like I thought you're supposed to be bringing people to God, bringing him close, bringing them closer. But y'all too busy trying to set your own boundaries and stuff. Like now. Boundary list over here. Yeah. <laughs> over here. The, Bi the, Bi the Bible says, with love and kindness have I drawn thee. Yeah. You, you better say that. Love and kindness. Wait, what they forget, I don't care how long your dress is. I don't care if you wear a little thing on top of your head. I don't care. Guess what? Your dress can still go up. You can still get big. I'm, I'm sorry. You, you, you're you not. Let's not get it twisted. You can still fall. Um, as you you are. Come on. You still you qualify. Still some, some, no, no, y'all really? you so deep. Y'all pants be tighter than the women's on. Why? Because mm. you got a spirit of perversion. Don't get me started. Like, we, we got to be careful on how we talk about the ones that's out there. If you really knew, if you read your Bible, you need to be out there getting them in. But we want to preach to everybody that's in the wall. We don't mm -hmm. preach to the wall enough. What? Talk Hello? about it. And the mm. ones outside, we're losing. Mm. We're, there are souls dying every day because we don't want to go outside the wall. We want to stay right here and look cute and well, I, and, and it's nothing not look look pretty, baby. Sir, get in your good suit if that's what you want to wear, but don't forget about the souls because that's what that's the mandate. The mandate is the souls, not not trying to get a group of click of people. Mm -hmm. It's the soul. That's what we here for. That's that's the reason why I gave my life over because I wanted to reach the women that went through the same thing I was going to go back. I wanted to go yeah. out there and get the other. I wanted to reach the young ladies before they got my age. I want to reach them. I want to reach them and tell them, "Hey, I understand. You don't been you been you been raped. That's not who you are, though. You was raped, but that's not who you are." Come on, come on. You get what I'm saying? You you were okay. You was in you you was in a situation where you was beat on, but that's not who you are. Let me tell you how you can you can still be you can be set free. Let me tell you how you gonna stand. You can sit in front of your rapist and tell him, "I forgive you," and talk do it with the love of Christ. I can talk, talk about that. Exactly. Mm. So that's where we that's who we need to be. We need to be, you know, have your service, but don't forget the people outside. We, you know, we they they're they're one because there's a lot of them and, and it's the truth not gonna come in the building. Mm. So a lot of them not gonna come inside. They waiting on us to come outside. They waiting on us to meet them where they are. Cause we talking, we we gonna meet you where you are, but you saying come in the you need to come inside my church already together and then we'll work with you. That makes no sense. So you wasn't already together when you get your life over. Yeah, you're right. If you was already together, what you get your life to Christ for? You don't need exactly. It. I mm. mean, I'm sorry, y'all are preaching. Y'all gotta forgive me. I no, you you already said that you was a full package. So this is the package that we got today. But you said something that was very key. So I I'm also one that I've I've done I've used to be a stripper, prostitution, being molested by five different men, gang raped twice, and seeing my uncle murdered all before the age of 18. And I learned that forgiveness played a big role. Yes. In order for me to be who God has called me to be and to be able to move, I had to learn how to forgive not only those that hurt me, whether intentionally, unintentionally, or just in my mind, um, through my own perception, but I also had to learn how to forgive myself. What role in who you did forgiveness play in who you are today and how you're able to minister to uh, through music, through, through the word of God, even through your catering business, what role of forgiveness makes up my better the artist. So, okay, I, I'm, I had to forgive me first. That was the first step. And when I say I forgave me because I fought myself, I blamed myself for a lot that happened. 
and I became very, I, like I said, I was very angry. I was angry with the world. I was angry with people. So I had to pull me together. Me and God had to have a conversation. And I first forgave me. Then with forgiving me, it opened the door for me to have the hard conversation with certain people. Um, and so because of that, I can walk in, I can walk in peace and, and truly say, to, I, so when I say it's been a journey, y'all, it's been a journey. Because I can truly say I'm whole, not just healed, but I'm whole because I can be in the presence of the person who molested me. I can be in the presence of the person who paid someone to rape me. I can be in the presence of my rapist. I can be in the, in, and there's no ill feelings. I used to couldn't even watch mo certain movies. I couldn't watch and they would make me sick. I can chill and I can watch them now. But that mm -hmm. all came, the forgiveness package. I had to forgive me, forgive them, and really work on my one-on-one -on -one relationship with God. So me, me working on allowing God, I just said a couple of weeks ago, God told me, he, he said, I'm destroying your foundation. And in destroying my foundation, it's uncomfortable, y'all. Come on. Come on. It's, it's uncomfortable. It don't feel good. But even in that, there is some forgiveness. It's some people that I thought that I forgave that I didn't. So Come I on. said it's a journey. It's a journey. Because there's some people that I thought that I had let go of the issue and why God was destroying my foundation, while he destroyed my foundation, all that old stuff came up. So what mm -hmm. happened was I built the foundation. I built it on top of my issues and covered it up and didn't deal with it. Never dealt with it. Now, because he destroyed it, all those weeds are popping up. So I got to pull them out and I've been having to deal with it. And I've been having to walk in true forgiveness. And I've been having to tell people I love them and really mean I love you. Not saying I love you because it sounds good, but truly. I love you. Praying for people who I know can't stand me, but still praying for them anyway. True forgive, like true, literally forgiveness of people who done talked about me. And I know done talked about me, that smile in my face, and I can still say I love you. That's forgiveness, baby. That's true forgiveness. Ain't no no ill feelings. I don't want. I I, I want to see you win. I want to see you prosper. I want to see you do everything God has called you to do. That so forgiveness for me started with me forgiving me. And then I was able. To do those other legs, cause if I don't, and, and with them forgiving me, I had to love me again. Cause I stopped loving me too. I stopped loving my day. I I lost faith in me. You know what I mean? So I, it's all, all of, it's a journey, y'all. It's a journey. Don't let nobody tell y'all that this. So you can put it in the microwave and it's gonna be done in six minutes. No, no. When you truly want God to get the glory out your life, it's a process and it's a journey. You just got to trust God. You got to really, it's a cliche to say, trust the process. But while you tr trust God while you're in that process, don't just trust the process, but trust God because he got you. If mm -hmm. he's sending you through it, then he going to bring you out. Come on. Like we have a, a lot of, a lot of trials we did do ourselves because of disobedience, because of opening doors that we shouldn't have opened. But when you really allow God to lead you, guess what? While you're going through the, going through you, you're like, oh, I went through that. When you come out, you're like, eh, what? I had to say, well, look at God. I'm, yes. I'm sitting on top of the hill. You know, I'm drinking, yes. drinking my little, you know, my, my, my Moving on up. You know what I mean? So you, it, it's, it's first and foremost, always sit back, look in the mirror, forgive you, love you and then you can start the process of forgiving those who you felt like wronged you and sometimes people ain't really do anything to you you your perception was just wrong your perception your you perception know, at the time was your reality yep it, it's something that you said i had to talk about and you said god told you that he was um destroying the foundation and when we you were talking god said a word to me that unforgiveness is a rotting a rotting spirit that yes. sometimes we cover. And if you think about a dry rot in a house, the house could look nice, right? Mm -hmm. People go into the house and it paint look good, everything. But if there's a dry rot in the foundation, there's something in that part of the house that's going to end up being weak. Yes. And when you mm -hmm. look at that weak part, things start to crumble. And then eventually you're going to have to restore that whole area, but then it's going to cause a chain reaction. See, a lot of times in our spirit, when we let unforgiveness fester in our life, mm -hmm. that our attitude gets ugly, our mind get ugly, the way we treat people get ugly, and then Come eventually on. we just 
full of stuff that somebody gave us. It, we not even ourselves no more because we're not a reflection of what God made us. We're a reflection of what we've been through. Yes. Mm -hmm. Instead of being true to that. And a lot of times when you have that unforgiveness, you can see it in people. Maybe that's why sometimes it don't come out. People be talking about, oh, that person cussed, cussed somebody out. Well, talk about maybe they got unforgiveness and they've been cussing themselves out. And that's the only way they could communicate with people. Let's say about how they always thinking that somebody out to get them, somebody out to always not do something. That's some unforgiveness right there because it's a toxic, rotting spirit. My God, that will affect everything, and and it was deep when you said the foundation because there's a lot of us that need to get in our foundation and get a, a home inspection. Come and, on, <laughs> because we got some parts that got some rotting parts in there because we got some unforgiveness that we ain't we ain't addressed, and we just kind of put some new paint over it, put a rug on it, and said yes. we did, and we go to church and we smile, but we wonder why all of a sudden we feel bipolar because we cry off of any trigger. We, we, we get angry off of any Come situation on. that comes up because there's something that's settled in your spirit that you have not addressed. Mm -hmm. Got to deal with it. I no. just put that out there. I'm I'm back in the background. I feel like that was ben, good. Benzel, I want you to go ahead and let's do your this or that y'all we're gonna change the time we're gonna come back a little more but we're gonna get Benzelius to talk about his this or that. Yeah, man, let's let's have some fun. So if a lot of people don't know what this or that mean, what that is, that is, I ask some random, random questions, this or that, and you have to uh, answer. It's going to be really fast paced, so you only got a little bit of time to think about it. All right. Y'all ready? Let's mm -hmm. go. All right. First thing first. Call first thing in the morning or call in the middle of the night. Which one do you hate the worst? Middle of the night. Middle of the night. No, don't, don't call me in the morning. I'm gonna be up <laughs> at night. Don't call me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Uh, board games or video games? Video games. Board games. Board games. Video games. Yes, video <laughs> games. Let's go past the day. All day. <laughs> Social media messages or text messages? Text yeah. messages. I evolved social media messages. I DM more than uh, I text. Yeah, I guess so. Social media, I don't know. Don't, don't take. Don't talk to me. Yeah. Talk. <laughs> Everybody don't don't deserve direct access to me. So I mean, hey, some people, hey, if you text message me, we on a more of a personal level. Level that social media, anybody can uh, hit me up on social media. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, take a friend. Take a friend on vacation, or take a family member. On vacation, family. Oh, me, friend. I'm sorry. Family. I'm, away from family. I'm taking. I'm not flying. Nobody out that ain't came for me. My cheering is the only one I'm flying out, and my wife. That's oh, okay. Flying. Can we classify family? Are we talking about household? Are we talking about cousin, friend, auntie? Like, what are we talking about? Once we still say not family? flying them out. I'll meet you there. If if you share blood, period. You flying them out, or your friend? What we doing? Yeah, family. Okay, that that has to be family. I'm gonna that that be family. Yeah, because you know you okay. actually have some friends that become family. Family about to be mad yeah. at yeah. me. I'm taking home. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Share food or don't That's share. Right. Food. Oh, don't touch my food. Don't touch my I food. Share. Yo, we yo, play, we play about a lot of things. My food, not one of them. Yeah, I don't mind sharing. I share. Okay. What is, <laughs> wait, it's only one thing I don't share, and that's circus peanuts. I absolutely love them, and I don't share them with nobody. Mm, I like that. And I got a hard one for you. Y'all ready for this? Okay. Instagram or Twitter? Instagram all day. Twitter. I hate Twitter. Instagram. Twitter. 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 You the only Twitter one, yeah, but make sure you go Twitter. follow her at Lost underscore underscore Barbie on Twitter so you can get all the latest Las Vegas sports updates. Because that's why I'm not even in the area. I'm just gonna start following her just so I can know know what she's talking about when she come on here. I was just like, right. oh, okay, and what team? <laughs> all right, shop, shopping online or in store shopping. 
In store. In store. In store. In store. I like and, the whole uh, experience. I go yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't like I'm more of an in store. I want to. I want to go and and go see stuff and watch. And it, I you know, want like it this. now. I don't want to wait yeah. for ten business yeah. days, or thirty days, <laughs> depending on where you ordered it from. Okay. Okay. Uh, store bought or homemade? A uh, ho- homemade. Excuse me. Homemade. 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 Yeah. Come homemade. on now. Come. <laughs> now, now, now. Let's now let's be honest. When, when it's like Tuesday night. And you just had a long work day. You gonna tell me you gonna you want some homemade? Yep. Yeah, I love. So I love to cook. You talking to the caterer? Okay. I love to cook. Oh, okay. I'll make a case. Right. Well, I'm going to do all to uh to my yeah, that's, that's <laughs> it. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna head to do. do roll. <laughs> that's an open invite. Okay. But that's it. Tell me what you want. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 IPhone. I'm on the Mac right know. now. Apple uh, iPhone across the board. I, I, I was <laughs> just delivered last year. I, I was Look delivered. At God. See, he's still there we go. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. Okay. My deliverance. <laughs> All right. Be loud or quiet? Oh. Actually, I'm I'll say. Wait, no, 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 no. Remixed it. Loud or quiet neighbors? Oh. oh. Quiet. Oh, quiet. no, quiet. loud because well, if no, I could be loud, loud. And I could be loud. <laughs> if they loud, I could be loud. Ain't no loud, quiet yeah. ordinance. I could put my music up on 50. Yeah, I rather loud because really quiet loud. folks make me a little nervous. They might be sneaking yeah. in and look, peeping through your gates and, and quiet folks. They watch and you. don't know what quiet people be doing, you know. Right. They, I, yeah, you ain't seen a neighbor the whole, the whole year. You'd be like, what do they They do rituals? You'd be starting making assumptions and they <laughs> It's be quiet and dark over there. They do rituals. I just hey, see now, oh, I see never I come see out. The neighbor today. Right. They'll oh, be, be surprised. Like, I saw the neighbor today. Yeah. <laughs> I got I got three more for I got three more and then we're gonna be it. Okay. Le- uh, th- third one. Weekends, weekends or holidays? Holidays. Oh, what happened if something falls on the weekend? I say weekends. Weekends, you get more of them. I love holidays. That's an excuse for me to cook and buy gifts. You could cook every weekend. Like holidays too. <laughs> yep. All right. Brand name or generic? Generic. I, I come from the projects. What do you say? Projects. Brand name or generic? If you it's ever have a brown is. bag experience, generic <laughs> goes that way. Yep. It, it depends on what it is. Like you can't. That's. Um, cereal, brown bag, uh, 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 generic. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, that's 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 I gotta get no so generic. I get me some generic. I, I like, like the name. I, I like the fruity, 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 fruity. Give me no sugar bag. snacks. Like, right. Sugar <laughs> I, I like the, some the fruity, <laughs> the fruity bites. <laughs> no. Instead of fruity pebbles, fruity bites go crazy. No. I like the Tony the Tiger that looked like he from the seventies, and he got dressed in his mouth talking about. They I right. you know I, I feel like that's great. All right, last one. And and I I mean I know the answer to this one, but I want to make sure I want to see what y'all think, right? West Coast or East Coast? East Coast, let's go, baby. Let's go. Ah, uh, ain't nothing listen, but I'm going to be crazy. <laughs> Just Jay, come back, come back. Come I'm back. sorry. Come back, come back. Right. Come back. Y'all I'm need to tap sorry. out for a minute. Woo! <laughs> come back. He went all the way there. That was a <laughs> point. I, I went somewhere there. Amen. I, I, I was bopping with you, Pastor Jay. <laughs> all, all I heard, all I heard was Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, and Tupac. Yeah. Like, he told it. I was like, hey. The best side is the west side. Amen. Come on. With that being said. Amen. With that being said, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna before we go out. One thing I want everybody to know with Miss Marvetto, you have a lot of projects coming out. What are some of the upcoming projects? What's some of the projects that you're about to come do? Um, let us let the people know. So I do have a single that I'm about to release here, real soon. The title of that is Purpose. Um uh, uh that comes from a place of learning, truly learning what my purpose is in God. Uh, for a long time, I thought I had purpose in people, and God redirected me and, and taught me, and he's continuing to teach me what my purpose is in him, so that's what, you know, 
knowing learning your purpose. Um, I also have I released a song called Hold Me some a couple of years ago, and I pulled it back because I didn't like how it was packaged. So I'm redoing that, and that'll be out. I'm gonna you know do a little two two you know two for as Felicia would say deal where you'll get two singers in one. Um, and I got some other music that I'm working on with, you know, different artists that be coming 2023, going to get your left and the right. And I'm super excited about that. Super excited. So definitely follow me and watch this journey that I'm on. I am finally, after all these years, doing a concert. Finally. On August the 26th. Um, I've always been a guest to a concert i've always you know i sing background or i come and support but god is definitely pulling me from the back and making me be up front because i'm really chill i like to be in the back when i begin to talk about the goodness of jesus i get excited of course but i can be in the background and i'm okay with it but god's like yes time is time out now i need them to see what I've done through your life and I need them to hear a new sound because because of the breaking of my foundation because I am walking in true peace and forgiveness there's a new sound coming from our the artists and God is like it's time for the world to hear the new sound so August 26th I will be in concert which is called A New Sound and I'm super excited about that and of course I'll be in Vegas with Pastor J in September with the C with in the mix CHA Cypher. I'll be doing the uh red carpet because I do have a show called Sip and Chat where I sit with different people and we talk about the topics that most folks don't like to talk about. Um I talk about some real hard topics. A lot of people don't too much care for it. Some folks be like, no, when I reach out, be like, hey, you want to be a guest? And I'm like, mm -mm, I don't want to touch that. You got something else I can, you know, but I know God has called me to the uncomfortable. And so that's what I do. So uh, I I will be hosting. I was able to. That's why I really met Mr. Pastor Jay on the green carpet in Jacksonville, Florida, for the Rhythm of Gospel Awards, where I was able to interview him. Sip and chat. Will be in the building at the CHS Fight Cipher in Las Vegas in September. So I'm dope, definitely excited about that. I have a lot of stuff coming up, guys. I got Mississippi coming up. I have Atlanta coming up. I have. Uh, LA, I've been in LA in October, and so yeah, we got a lot going on. My red artist got a lot going on, but to God be the glory because I said yes from my heart and not my not just my mouth. He's opening doors, amen. You said you're going to Mississippi, you're going to Chuck Elise. <laughs> <laughs> Am I said what? <laughs> oh, okay, oh. amen. <laughs> The fact that we all knew what he was saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I couldn't hold it. Hey, Amen. So let's talk. <laughs> Off the rails, boy. I tell like, you. Man. Man. That's what happened uh, was he went back, y'all. Man. Right. man. I'm, I'm still reeling it back That's in. But yes. Come on oh, back. Come on in back. the mix. Yes. CHH Cypher. During the iHeartRadio Festival, make sure y'all get y'all tickets. It's on Eventbrite. It's going to happen September 23rd and September 24th. Tickets on sale now. If you buy your tickets now, you could get tickets for both events. And then... Today is the after, last day for that. Oh, today the last day. So yeah, make sure you today go is get the last right, day right, to get right now. Yeah. And then after that, I think there's still some artists showcase slots. If you want to perform during iHeartRadio, MC Nights, Miss Tiffany, The Truth, all these people going to be in the building. They're going to be doing some great things for the, the CHH Cypher out here, UNLV, the West uh, West Library. It's about to go down during iHeartRadio. And a lot of people going to be in the building. Um, Noitra Radio will be in the building. We'll be doing some great things. I want y'all to make sure you're down there, September 23rd. September 24th. And one thing I want to say with that alarm clock, because that means it's about that time <laughs> that I just want to just say thank you, Miss Marvette, the artist, for coming on. You, you, you definitely big sis. We had fun in Jacksonville because she saw me see a dolphin. Yes, I, I know did. That. She witnessed that. I'm not gonna ever stop talking. That was a life experience. Um, so with that being said, I want everybody to know. 
that she is a great person to follow. If you didn't get nothing from it, I want you to know that she could get a prayer out for you. She could be able to get you through. She could be able to prophesy for you. She could be able to bring you a word and she could be able to sing. So with that being said, make sure you go and follow her on all social media platforms. We appreciate her for coming on. She said she, she, she your favorite cousin, but not hers. But I want you to know <laughs> that, um, you won't, this won't be the last time she's not, you see her on the show. You know, you'll see her again on the show. It's she, she, I in. hope not. I hope not. <laughs> you'll, you'll I definitely, definitely enjoy myself. Thank y'all. So this much. will not be the last time. You'll definitely see her. And, um, we would definitely appreciate you when you come in Vegas. You'll definitely be able to get that experience with the anointed radio, break some bread, do some things like that. And with that being said, because you heard the alarm clock, but let's go ahead and throw that good old Martin 90s music on. There it go. I want you to know that it doesn't have to stop. It don't. You could definitely download the anointed radio app, listen to gospel all day, every day. But if you want the show, it's special. You could go and to any podcast platform but title because y'all know what my saying goes. Jay-Z be hating. Simple as that. With that being said, make sure you go to all podcast platforms. You can listen to every episode, every interview we've done in the last five years. Man, we've been around, y'all. We've been around. We've been having great interviews. We got more great interviews. We got more people coming, more people reaching out, people with their stories, businesses open, artists, celebrities, book artists, everybody coming. But one thing that you're going to get from Anointed Radio is one thing is you're going to be able to learn about a testimony. You're going to learn about how God shows through anybody, despite their title, their money and what they've been through. I want you to know that God has showed out. So make sure you download the, the Anointed Radio app. Make sure that you go follow us on all the podcast platforms, iHeartRadio, uh, Pandora, TuneIn, all them good jazz podcast places, and Spotify, where you can now watch the same video that you're watching on YouTube on Spotify. And with that being said, y'all can go donate too. So put the collection plate. We're going to do a, a, a ties and offering. If y'all want to, go ahead and hit that cash app for Anointed Radio. And be able to bless the network. We bring this Man, to you. Yeah, you know he forgot about me. You know. I know it. What? 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 I forget. Anyway, I wanted to say something. I just wanted to say thank you, Miss Marvette, for coming through. This money. It's always lovely hearing somebody else's testimony because we all done been through something, and God has still all brought us to the light and i just love it and to end the show today i'm about to go jump in the pool because this is what got me this is what he be with in the backyard <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. God. oh it froze oh, oh it froze wait wait Dang. wait 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 uh, no oh, oh. Oh, oh, we missed it. Let it froze. But she oh, in the water. Man. Thank God for the water. On that note. <laughs> Take me to the water. <laughs> Take me to. Hey, man. So we're going to hit y'all out. We hit y'all. Be easy. Love y'all. Y'all be. We, we, we'll see y'all next week. Bye, y'all. Bye, bye. Bye, y'all.